So hey guys, uh, happy Thanksgiving, welcome back, and uh, oh, I'm so full I've turned upside down. Uh, let me let me see if I can fix that for you. Okay, back in business. First item of business is theme. This is the first video of the month, which means I get to select one. I love short fiction, and therefore I decree that each of us this month must post one video in which we read a lovely piece of short fiction or poem in the nerd voice of our choice. This means in the style of a character that we like. Enjoy! Everyone has a Thanksgiving video, and you know what? I'm going to, too. Food, delicious food happened in both places. That was good. Uh, a few other things happened, which I'd like to enumerate quickly. One! There's this pork roast that I've been trying for like three times now to make perfectly, and I finally succeeded! That was kind of a maniacal face, and I don't apologize. So, this pork roast is very simple. It's like spices and apples and onions and cider. A very important part. You put it all in a pot. You roast it for like three hours. Then you take all the solid stuff out. And then you take the rest of it and you put it on the stove. And you turn up the heat really high and you boil it until there's not very much left. And then you stop. That's the part I skipped last time. For which I do apologize. Yes, but this time I got it exactly right, and it is so delicious, YouTube, that I am sorry I cannot share it with you. I actually, I feel a little bad about it. Come over sometime. We'll eat. I really enjoyed seeing my dad's new place. Uh, he just moved to, like, an hour different place. He bought a townhouse, and it's got a lot of space. The bedrooms are huge enormous. There's Nate waving again. Oh, God, block. Oh, drunk giraffe. Drunk giraffe moment. Stealth drunk giraffe is the best kind. Other things I appreciated about my Thanksgiving, I got to spend a significant amount of time with my wife, which is not as common as I would wish. Four solid days of her was really pleasant. At dinner, I asked, what are people thankful for? Because, you know, tis the season. And I said that one of the things I was really thankful for was that I had uh, worked really hard over the past couple of years to increase both the size and the quality of my friend group, uh, and that that had gone really well. In evidence of this, I was just telling Nate about this, and he said, Are you calling me fat? And I said, yes, but I'm saying it's my fault. I'm just really thankful for them. They like a lot of the same things I do. They're really helpful, kind people. They uh, they love board games, which I also like. It's just good. And so that's been really awesome, and I'm very thankful for it. Another thing that was awesome is that I leveled up my cooking skill. We were making Thanksgiving gravy, of course, and Mom was like, uh, Smell this. What spices does it need? And I went... Except not like that, because that was like a vial, and it wasn't a vial of gravy. That's weird. Um, and I was like... Did you waft? I, I did not waft and sniff, but I should have. That is inappropriate, sir. Inappropriate. Bad science. It could have been hydrochloric acid. It could have been hydrochloric gravy. <laughs> and uh, so... <laughs> so, uh, I sniffed it, and I was like, rosemary and thyme. That's what this needs. And she was like, oh, okay. And she put it in. She was like, that's delicious. Amazing! I'd like to thank the Academy, but also this book my sister gave me for Christmas several years ago, my birthday maybe, um, called The Flavor Bible, although when she gave it to me she had taken the word Necronomnomnomicon and printed out and taped it over Bible, which is one thing I'm thankful for about my sister. So anyway, overall a fantastic visit with my family, really nice to get to spend some time with just my sister, we've been working on that the last several years. And I'm really excited to host them all for Christmas, which I am doing in, if you've been following, my house filled with frost giants. I will, of course, be giving everyone flamethrowers. Nate, I loved your family history of Thanksgiving video. It was just so sweet, and I was really moved by it. So I want to share a Thanksgiving history moment with you. We would always go to my grandmother's house. My sister and I would, at some point, steal the Tetris-based game that my mom played, this handheld electronic game, and hide it somewhere in the house. So we'd have a scavenger hunt all over the house, all over the house, all four levels of it, uh, for her to find it again. And my favorite clue ever was this really cryptic, almost zen-like Cohen thing that we gave her. Uh, my grandparents have this ornament. It's a brass globe, and it's punctured all over with this design, so if you put a candle inside of it, light could get out. But you never actually do put a candle inside because there's no place to mount it. It's a mystery. It just hung up from... Maybe it was supposed to hold fruit. I don't know. 
It just hung up from a hook uh, on the way down to the basement, on the basement stairs, and we loved it. We thought it was so cool. So one of the clues was, it shines like a perforated sun. And that was it. And my mom spent like 40 minutes trying to figure out what the heck we were talking about until eventually she went to the right place and found the game that we had hidden. It was good entertainment. Nerds, I will see you next time, and I hope your Thanksgiving was awesome. And next time you're feeling curious about dinosaur structure, remember, Neanderthals explain reasons for dinosaur symmetry. Also, Nate is Batman. That's what Nate says, and I'm going to let him dance you out.